Welcome to episode 217, Frank Lowy, The Westfield Story, Eight Lessons. This is an outline of episode 217. Lesson number one, the suburban mall as the great retail disruptor in the last 50 years. In the last 50 years, the demographics are there. First, families and middle class are flocking to the suburbs. Second, the explosion of automobile ownership. Third, the parking crisis. So Frank Lowy and John Sanders were able to capitalize on these three trends. For decades, they built over a hundred more based on supply and demand. Lesson number two, the new retail disruptor, that is the online shopping. We can observe many suburban malls are dying. Uh, online shoppers offer three kinds of competition. First, it's cheaper. Second, the selections are bigger and better. Third, convenience, that is 20 to 24-7 services. Lesson number three, from suburban malls to downtown malls. We all witnessed the dying of many suburban malls. Westfield has an innovation, the downtown mall. For example, Westfield World Trade Center, built at a cost of more than $1 billion. And in downtown Manhattan, Lesson number four, history of Westfield is the history of shopping mall innovation and adaptation. For example, food court, air conditioning. Lesson number five, the iconic malls. Frank Lowy invented the iconic mall in 1970. The first one was Bondi Junction Westfield Mall. In the basis Sydney. for that was built in Australia with uh, Bondi Junction which was a major departure from the shopping centers than before. The latest of these new iconic malls, the Westfield Sydney now. And I think that these iconic malls are serving a much larger community at the same time, and they have a big footprint on the, on the cities themselves. Lesson number six, start small, work hard. Before the first mall, there was this tiny deli in Blacktown, Australia. Blacktown's about 20 miles from downtown Sydney. When you came to Australia uh, in the early 1950s, your first business was a, uh, a small, a humble uh, delicatessen in Blacktown in Sydney's yeah. west, and that, I yeah. guess, was the seed of what is now the, uh, the global Westfield empire. Yeah. You now have shopping centres stretching yeah. across Australia, New Zealand, the United States, Great Britain. What would be your advice to someone starting out in business today? Are there still the same principles that applies in the 50s or is, has business changed somewhat, particularly retail? Well, business has changed tremendously in the last uh, 50 or 60 years. Retail has changed, life has changed, but the basic principles are still the same. Work hard, uh, do a day's, uh, a day's uh, uh, work for a day's pay or more work than pay and the principles are still the same there are great opportunities lesson number seven no food no freedom that was how frank lowy began life in budapest hungary the, the 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 most precious commodity in life is freedom well it's hard for me to describe myself i'd rather not actually uh, but obviously it affected me. It affected me in a way that uh, probably made me a lot harder than otherwise I would have been. And uh, I think it gives me a wider perspective. I think uh, I know what not to have. What does it mean not to have? Either freedom or food. Lesson number A. Why did he sell Westfield in December 2017? He spent 58 years of his life to build up this empire. Then why did he not sell to his three sons? Even the 1.4 billion Westfield World Trade Center Oculus Mall in New York City cannot save the tide. Rent is dropping 5 to 6% a year, and the economics are deteriorating. 
the big Australian shopping centre owner, has recommended shareholders accept a takeover offer from a European company for $32.8 billion, $24.7 billion US dollars, a move that will take one of the country's most successful business stories out of Australian hands. Wannabe buyer, Paris-based Unibail Redomco, is Europe's biggest listed property company, and the Australian Financial Review said the potential deal would be Australia's largest ever takeover. Louis' sons Stephen and Peter are the co-CEOs of Westfield. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.